we're doing back here is we're cleaning vessels for our next big brew day, which will be next Sunday. Uh, so right now we're just circulating uh, PBW, faucet cleaning solution, and that kind of uh, but this is typically where we brew in the back here. Uh, what you'll notice, if you've been to a few places, that we are missing a few vessels here. Yep. No hot liquor tank, no mash water ton, no boil kettle. They're all one individual vessel. Uh, so if you notice on this guy that John and Joe are working on back here, five 10,000 watt three phase heating elements. Right? Wow. Uh, so those are plenty to take us to our mash temperature and then up the boil and then uh, it's a jacketed uh, vessel. So you notice a little bump out in here, there's a half inch space in between that we can run. Uh, we do water cooling here. Uh, so we'll run groundwater at first and then we'll transition over to one of these guys, which is a small individual water chiller to get to our fermentation temperature. Uh, so to mash in, if you want to come over here, so our work table slash mash colander. So inside this guy, is this the one that's uh, Kevin oh, Hudson? Uh, we're doing a peppermint chocolate stout. So, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Peppermint oh, chocolate stout. Yeah. 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 You had me at chocolate, you lost me at peppermint. <laughs> So you notice there's a welded mesh bottom in this guy. Uh, so instead of a traditional mash water tun, uh, in which you have a vessel that has uh, a flat bottom with a false on top of it to drain the wort out and water it into the boil kettle, we mash directly into the vessel that we're boiling in. Uh, this drops right in the top. As you can see, uh, with the gantry, we can pull the lid off, mm -hmm. drop this guy in place, and when we water, we don't move the wort off the grain, we pull the grain out the oh, sweet. So we just lift it straight up, water's out of the bottom, uh, and then we go right to boil in that same vessel. The advantage that gives us is a couple things. One, fewer vessels to actually clean. Right, so instead of uh, having to clean out a mash water ton and a boil kettle and then into a fermenter, right. uh, it all stays in the, the same individual vessel from mash in until we transfer to keg for service. Uh, it's full conical, it's, it's a pressure, pressure vessel, so it can act as a bright as well, so we clean up and carve inside one vessel. Um, also, because it's, it's boiled inside of that vessel, everything's heat sanitized. Uh, all we have to worry about when we're cleaning is getting it debris-free uh, and sanitation, no chemical sanitizers used. Nice. It's all heat sanitizers. Awesome. Well. How you 